Welcome to another episode of Cards from Magic's Past, a series of short videos where we cover a single card from Magic the Gathering's history. For this episode, I'll be going over a powerful spell from Visions, Vampiric Tutor. Vampiric Tutor was originally printed in 1997 in the second set of Mirage Block. It is an instant spell for one black mana that lets you search your library for any single card, shuffle, and put it on the top of your deck. Then, you pay two life. Although this card was printed in the set after Mirage, it was part of a cycle of tutors that started in the first set of the block. The three tutors from Mirage searched for specific card types depending on the color. The blue tutor had the player search for either an instant or sorcery spell, the white tutor an artifact or enchantment, and the green tutor a creature. However, no tutor for red was ever printed. Vampiric Tutor saw immediate play in practically every format it was legal in. However, two years after the card was released, the tutor became restricted in vintage and banned in legacy. Throughout its life in standard, Vampiric Tutor saw tons of play primarily in combo decks. Its first notable appearance was in a deck called Prosperous Bloom, a combo that required a complicated sequence of cards that typically ended by using Prosperity and Cadaverous Bloom with Drain Life as its finisher. This deck was considered the first successful combo deck in the history of Standard, and it even won a Pro Tour tournament in 1997, which was the Mirage Constructed Block format. Vampiric Tutor received its first reprint in 1999 in the set 6th edition, which was also known as Classic. Seeing the card in white border for the first time was pretty jarring, and to be honest, it still is. But this was a small price to pay, as the reprint meant the Tutor wouldn't be included on the reserve list. Because Vampiric Tutor was in standard for another two years, it continued seeing success. In 2000, Hall of Famer John Finkel won the U.S. Nationals Championship by using a deck called Napster. Designed by Mike Flores, Napster was a mono-black control deck that contained an array of singleton cards, such as Engineered Plague, Massacre, Persecute, Eradicate, Perish, and others that were picked like tools in a toolbox thanks to the ability to search them up with Vampiric Tutor. As for the deck's name, if you didn't know, Napster was around during that time, and I remember it being a big deal. Napster was one of the first applications where you could look up any music track and download it. Mike Flores said Hall of Famer Brian Kilber came up with the name since the deck used Vampiric Tutor to search up answers, similar to how you would look up music tracks on Napster. Another deck that utilized a full set of tutors was called Bargain. The card Yawgmoth's Bargain from the 1999 set Urza's Destiny was supposed to be a fixed Necropotence. However, that was never the case. In this deck, Vampire Tutor was a vital piece to help find pieces to assemble the draw engine or the combo. The Tutor from Visions also saw play in Extended. A ton of different combo decks utilized the Tutor to great success. And even The Rock, a deck we covered in our last episode, used the Tutor similar to how John Fingal did in his Napster Mono Black Control deck. When looking back at the history of this card, it is incredible how it saw play the entire time it was legal in both Standard and Extended. Of course, Vampire Tutor wasn't just a mechanically good card, it also appealed to casual players. The card's name gave off a tribal theme that players loved, and the artwork had a lot of lore behind it. Vampire Tutor featured Shaku Endbringer, a legendary vampire from Mirage, alongside what could be one of her students in a library full of scrolls. Having that legendary creature on the artwork added more depth to the story and mystery behind the card. Vampiric Tutor received a foil promo a year after its first reprint in 6th edition. This promo was only given to judges. The old school frame and foiling looks incredible on this card. Unfortunately, I don't own one so I can't really show you how awesome it really looks. After 6th edition, Vampiric Tutor did not receive a reprint for over 15 years. The reason why was because the Tutor was too powerful to return to standard. All of that changed when Eternal Masters released in 2016. Although I'm a huge fan of the original art, the new artwork by Raymond Swallen also looks good. The hand holding up a skull impaled by a dagger is very thematic and fits the card's name perfectly. It's always nice to expand the flavor of a card by adding characters from other planes in the artwork. Vampire Tutor got another Judge promo in 2018. In this version, you have what looks like a vampire from Ixalan. The latest reprint for the card was in Commander Legends, which featured a borderless version of Raymond Swanland's art. That's it for the story of Vampiric Tutor. 
No matter which version you use, the Tutor is a stellar card that should be included in every Magic player's collection. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll have more videos in the coming weeks, especially inside the deck as we will be going to a few more events. We thank you for watching and hope to see you again.